Hey there, baseball fans, it's Ben, and here I am again on my ever-elusive hunt for those rare misprints of blacklist cards from 1990 tops. Just uh, same, from the same print sheet as the no-name Frank Thomas that everybody's familiar with. If you want more information on the blacklist hunt, go back and look at my videos. There was one that, there's one that's called Frank Thomas, no-name on front, and the blacklist kind of stuff, so go check that out. Um, this, this is uh, another set of... 1990 Topps cards that I got from a guy named Tim, and I am looking through all of them, looking for this list that I've got right here, you can see, and uh, looking for that print variation. So uh, starting off with, with the Dennis Eckersley, but and two Dennis Eckersley, but that is not what we're after. Yes, it's nice to get stars, nice to get Hall of Famers and PC cards, but we are only looking today for our blacklist spread. Oh, and Darren Jackson is one of those possible ones. Let's take a look at all the edges here. And he has all of the black ink, so nothing there. And another one, another possibility, another chance. But this has all the black ink as well. And another one, look at that. Three in a row. So that's off to a good start. But at least there's a chance that we'll have some of these cards we're after. Uh, whether they're the blacklist versions or not remains to be seen. So this is uh, a hunt that I've been after for quite some time now and it's a it's a nice cheap way to get into it because there's ricky henderson nobody is too concerned with parting with all of their 1990 tops common cards for a few bucks and um what i'm looking for there's a steep carlton fisk are things that most people don't really look for or care about there's another carlton fisk. so a lot of duplication in this ba this batch here so not even close to a full set, but there's a Tony Gwynn. Oh, Craig Biggio. So this is one we're looking for, too. I do not see. I guess it would be a little missing strip of black ink there, but we do not have that. So another Tony Gwynn. So if these are all from the same box or the same print runs or, or whatever it might be, then our chances are not very good. There's a Jack Morris. It was likely to have been early print runs. John Smoltz. And the working theory is there's a couple more John Smoltz. The working theory is that it was probably East Coast uh, distribution. There's an Albert Bell rookie card. So specifically in the, nor uh, the Northeast and then the, the Mid-Atlantic Mid as well. But who knows where these came from? This guy named Tim said he... Uh, bought a giant collection from somebody, and he's just been kind of parsing things out. And this is one of the little collections he put together. There's a Tony Gwynn. It's 1990 Tops, and I was more than happy to take this 1990 Tops stuff off his hands for a low price there. Ozzy Smith. Now, the downside of this hunt is that I end up with a lot of 1990 Tops cards that are not blacklists, and who needs that many 1990 Topps cards? Not me, but I've got them. Right. Those of you who have seen numerous, oh, there's a Jim Acker. Jim Acker is one of the ones we're looking for here, but I do not see any missing ink. It is interesting to note that there's no Topps logo Oh, no, it's down there. I was going to say there's no Topps logo on there. There it is. So Jim Acker. There's that one. Um, those of you who have been sticking with me through all these Blacklist Hunt videos, I thank you. Uh, just think how exciting it will be when I do finally find one and you are here to share in that and witness that with me. So, if it were easy, everybody would do it. And yes, I do realize I could just go buy one, but for me, it's not about, I don't even care about having it. I just want to actually discover one and uh, be a part of that whole story of finding that, that hard to find card and print variation. So there's a Dale Murphy. I figure quite a few guys, a few guys can uh, sympathize with me on that one. George Brett. And when you look at large volume 
of cards from the same set of the same year. There's an Ozzy Smith. You start to notice some interesting patterns or, you know, some scarcity of certain players or certain cards, even outside of the stars. Keith Hernandez, you know, some players just show up over and over again, so maybe they, there were more of those printed or, or whatnot. Um, it's Andres Galarraga, a couple of those. Like, for instance, for me, it's an easy one to tell is I'm a Sean Dunstan fan. That's my personal collection is Sean Dunstan, who is a common, there's a Lee Smith. So they don't get pulled out of these kind of collections very often. Um, but I often don't find them. Like, we've had a large number of, you know, just about every other player show up in these things. But Sean Dunstan is not one I see a whole lot of. So Harold Baines... Dale Murphy, and part of me is saying that because maybe I'll jinx myself and pull it into existence right here, which I'd be very happy with. There's Barry Bonds. Tony Gwynn. We're also not finding too many of the cards on our list here. Paul Molitor. So that's the fun thing about this Paul Molitor, about looking through baseball cards, especially in random collections, is that you just don't know what's in there. And uh, even if you buy a big wax box, I mean, like, there's no guarantee you're, you're going to get Frank Robinson, a couple of those, but you're going to get what you're after. There's Cal Ripken, there's Saberhagen, Will Clark, Carlson Fisk. All right, this is one of the ones that we're after. You should see a swath down here in his left foot. Um, but that is the full version. There's George Brett. So not the blacklist version. Frank Robinson again. Ozzie Smith. And Tony Gwynn. All right, see if we can will this into existence. Everybody, there's Colorado. Everybody put their minds together right now. Some positive vibes. Send them through the the ether, there's a Julio Franco. That could be one, but it is not. Let's see if we can pull a rabbit out of a hat in the last couple stacks here. Deion Sanders, rookie card. Sammy Sosa, rookie card. Roger Clemens. Ryan Sandberg, there's one from a PC. First one from a PC here. Daryl Strawberry. Sparky Anderson. Vigio. Edgar Martinez. I think that's a rookie card for him and Tops. I know he's got some 89. I don't think he has an 89 Tops. Maybe Tops traded, but I know he's got some 89 Fleer and, and whatnot, but all right, last stack. Let's do it. Let's find that blacklist card. And the answer is going to be... Come on, magic. Baseball card magic, let's go. Cal Ripken. There's some Nolan Ryans for me. There's a Larry Walker. An Edgar Martinez. A Gary Sheffield. A Barry Bonds. A Greg Maddox. A Randy Johnson. A Ricky Henderson. More Nolan Ryans, the full set, I think, of those. Sammy Sosa rookie and Omar Vizcal rookie. But no blacklist cards. We strike out again. The hunt will continue on. I'll give up when I have no more Topps cards to look at. I'll see you next time.